Maps are a simplified vertical view of the ground reduced in size onto paper showing the outlines of features as they appear from above. Most of the maps you will use in the army are topographical maps which are for general purpose. These will show the shape of the ground and the features on it such as physical features like rivers and wood blocks, man-made features such as towns and roads and relief information such as contours and triangulation pillars. Every military map carries a unique method of identification which is by series, sheet and addition. The map series shown in blue text is M726 and is made up of a number of maps all of the same type designed to meet different needs in different areas of the world. The sheet number, for example, also shown in blue text sheet 163, means this is map sheet 163 of the 204 different map sheets that cover Great Britain. Edition shows the reader how many times the map has been updated. The user should always use the most current edition and this will be the map with the highest edition number. Before using a map effectively, there are five important pieces of information that you should know and these can be remembered using the acronym DVAGS. D is for datums. The datum information will normally be located on the map sheet marginalia. When setting up your handheld GPS, you must match it to the datums on the map. Selecting the wrong horizontal datum could mean differences in position of plus or minus a thousand meters. Selecting the wrong vertical datum could mean differences in height of plus or minus 110 meters. V is vertical interval, also referred to as a contour or the difference in height between contours. The vertical interval can be found in the areas circled in red on any typical Ordnance Survey map. A is for age. As stated earlier when explaining addition, the user wants to use the most up-to-date and recently published map to avoid new features on the ground not matching with the information presented in the map. The compiled or revised date circled in red gives the date of the information contained in the map. G is for Grid Magnetic Angle, or GMA for short, shown in blue text. This will be explained in greater detail in the Direction and Bearings video, but in short is the correction you may need to apply to compasses when changing from magnetic to grid bearings. S is for scale, which tells the reader how much the ground has been reduced to fit onto the map sheet. As shown, the scale can be expressed in four different ways, which again will be discussed in greater detail in future videos.